The educative day keeps unemployment away. Super long day, so let's get to it. We're in a new section. The in face reversal of the link this sex section. Not so many problems here. Let's say uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight problems here. So seven or eight days to get it done. 14% of the way through. And let's get to it. The introduction to the pattern. You can read all this. But we've done this before in a previous problem where we had to reverse a linked list. I think maybe a palindrome linked list or no, where we had to remove the nth node from the end of a list. I think it was two pointers, this guy. We had to use a linked list here. Anyway, we had to reverse a linked list. Anyway, here, I think. Could be wrong though. So this isn't the first problem isn't something that we're going to dwell on. Um all right, hold on, let me check the code actually. Reverse the sublist. It's in one of these utility folders. There's a heap. It's a node. Ah, uh, this video is getting too long. I'm going to pause it and find it. Okay, I found it. There's in the palindrome linked list problem. I had to use a reverse linked list thing. So basically, they're going to try and show this to us, um, this function down here, which very simply reverses a linked list. That's all it does. Um, it's very short, not hard at all. Something you memorize almost. Just swapping the current for previous while the current is not equal to null. These three guys. Previous becomes current, current becomes next. Uh, next, current or next becomes previous. Um, so that's all, honestly. <clears throat> and this is, this is it really it's a long day and this algorithm is o of n i use this constant space o of one because this the space you need you only need, you only have any three variables you never need more than three variables um, so that's that about that so this is the reversal you only need these three variables and they become each other previous is going to become uh, what current was, um, and so on and so forth. Just, you just keep moving them like that with the code. And you're done. So you're done. That's what this does. While current is not null, um, keep the next thing, make it a current thing. The previous thing, make it a current thing. Points the next the current on next to what was uh, previous. And yeah, that's it. That's all we did here. Current, that's two dot next to previous. Previous was null at the start, all right? So that's all. That's all there is to it. What what else did he have to say? Okay, sample problems. Ah, this is the one we solved with a two pointer. Did he solve this with two pointer? He has a two pointer problem. I think it's here. Or is it a nth node from end of this? There we are. And if I just step here, you. Mm. Okay. You go, you keep going until you reach the end of the list. Uh, then when you're at the end of the list, you do fancy things. Huh? If I didn't know better, I would say this is a fast, fast and slow pointer problem. Okay. 
We saw this before, it was a two-pointer problem. Um, these are example problems with this pattern. Okay, I haven't solved something like this before, it's fancy. Where's the second half of the link this? Um, yeah, it's fancy because you have to split it in two. It's like a fast and slow, fast and slow pointers problem. Because if you jump twice, for every time you you move your second cursor, if you have two cursors and you jump, you make one move twice as fast as the other. When the faster one reaches the end, you'll be around the middle of the link list. Then you can do fancy things there. Okay, it's not hard. Um, this is like a combination of different things. And this is a two-pointer problem. So the trick is if you have two cursors pointing at the beginning of the list, when you move one of the cursors n times, so let's say three times, the distance is now three. So then you can move the both of them at this, in tandem now at the same time. And when that one yet that went ahead reaches the end, you would be pointing at the nth node from the end of the list. So you can just uh, take that out however way you want. Um, cool stuff. You probably want to lag by one, so you can just plug this to this, and so this becomes orphaned. And I think garbage collected. I'm not sure. The reward problems. I think some of these are contrived. Like this reward problem, it says a total of n stock transactions need to be carried out by k brokers. If you need to assign transactions to each broker, yada yada yay, contrived. Even this is con seems contrived to me, except you're trying to do like a crude recommendation system. You can pause and read that. Uh, there's a strategy stuff, but I don't really care, man. Uh, if you, have to, you want to merge two sorted lists, you don't use this pattern. If you want to find the one containing intersected elements, you don't use this pattern. Mm -hmm. Cool story. Um, all right, so this is the first problem for reversing the link list. I mean, it's like par for the course, really. It was literally a util in one of our previous questions. I don't think we need this. Um, you can just look at the solution. It's probably the same thing as what I already have. So, come with a solution because why not? Oh, this makes it more verbose, I guess. Um, so that that's it. While currents don't know, take the next thing, could point the current next to the previous thing. Previous thing becomes current. The current moves to the next node. And c'est la vie. C'est la vie. C'est fini. So here is a an improved version. You just pass in the head and you have a reverse link list. All right, I did a few types here just to make things a bit clearer, but there you have it. Less than 10 minutes, first time, hopefully, a sign of newer things to come. An educative day keeps unemployment away. Not that unemployment is the only thing, that's such a base goal, right? Unemployment. We're shooting for the moon here. Um, also, disclaimer. I don't believe in these things, these uh, coding interview things. But you have to gain enough influence to change the system. So we do what we have to do. Uh, good night. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.